Right, here's us. Okay, driver, drive via Lich, uh, Lickgate Platform 4 and couple the rear of your loco to your passenger train in Lickgate Siding 2. So via 4 into 2. 9. Right, so there's Platform 4 sorted. Where am I? I'm there. So we're back to through 4. Siding 2 hasn't been set yet. I don't know why. Because we don't have that. I don't know why we don't have that. But anyway. Let's give a whistle and start our move backwards. Oh, you can get it on UKTS as well. Well, I paid for it because the money went into the railway, so uh, I was more than happy to. Right, why do we not have our route through? Maybe as I come past platform 4 we'll get it. Right, there we go, that'll do. For them. Do we now have the... no we don't. What about now? No. Bring up F1. Uh, we can't change it. Same we have the road. We do not have this road. Try control and tab. Saying that we're fine. But we're not fine. Oh, I know why. Stop, 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 stop. that changed? Yeah, that's changed now. Okay. Um, payday's next Friday, so you're getting some lovely locos for your collection. Great. Uh, thank you very much Mr. Harrison, see you later, you take care. Right, there we go. That sees us back into platform 2 and about to couple up to the train. Nice tap there, coupled up, put passenger code lanterns, express passenger code lanterns on the front of your loco, uh, drive your train into platform 4 and pick up the passengers.
Hello, Instasim, welcome. How can you not like that? Right, we're clearing to the platform. How are you today, Insta? And actually, I didn't ask you, Red Devil Dom. How are you? I do hope that you're both well. What happens when you question? Like you, you end up throwing me off, off thoughts. Right, lots of people waiting here at the platform, which is good. Tractor. Nice AI. Lovely. Where is that kill command? The kill command got killed. Right, drive via Edgefield down main to Barnum Platform 2 and pick up passengers. Are we, are we set? Yep. Let's go then. Now the pog champ. Uh, Insta sim, yes. Uh, for some reason, OBS isn't uh, processing the game properly. Um, I'm gonna have a. After the stream today, I'm going to have a reinstall of OBS and hope that that works a bit better. Uh, Scotsman, the consensus was to take it down, so I took it down. I like to go with consensus sometimes. I didn't see all that nice AI in the... Uh, even though it's not moving. All the stuff we left behind. Right, let's get ourselves up to 75, shall we? I am using OBS Studio. I don't use it in studio mode though. I just find it lays everything else out a bit easier. I still cannot believe that they gave you that as a view. No way this is a 75 mile an hour corner either. Whistle into the tunnel. You hate normal OBS. I just find it so complex. These corners that are advertised as one thing and quite clearly another. Line. Train on the bridge. Got it. Do 
Hey, David Mir, welcome. I hope that you're well. Right, clear through. Through the middle. Onwards and outwards, as they say. find it to be mm, less resource it. That's one of the problems that I'm having, it is very resource intensive. So for, for you two studio fans, do you use uh, the 64 or the 32 bit? Nicely done. Right, coming up to Barnum. There was a musical called Barnum. And uh, Michael Crawford was in it before he went on to do Phantom of the Opera. You used the 64 bits. Was that another tractor? Yes, it was. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that my computer's 64 bit, but it runs so slowly. I'm thinking of getting the 32 and just seeing how that goes. Stop here. What are my specs? I've got a uh, i7. I've got a. Hold on. Let's just stop and sort this out. Um, I've got 16 megabytes of RAM. I've got an i7. I've got a 4 gig graphics card. I've got a solid state drive and I've got a um, one terabyte hard drive that I run everything off. The solid state only has windows on and a few other minor bits where they have to put it on the same drive as the, uh, as the operating system. 16 megabytes of RAM, yep. Um, drive to Litgate Platform 2 and pick up passengers. I find that when I try and run the 32 bit, it crashes. I can only run the 64. Maybe gigabytes then. I Probably. Right, back up to 75. Should be fine then. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with it. But it's definitely my end that's skipping. I've been in settings, I've I've not played with anything. But um I don't know what it is. Alright, let's get some coal on.
1997 you had a 32 gig, yeah. Okay, it's it's definitely gigabytes, not megabytes. Right, we're coming into Lichgate Platform 2 Hold on, weren't we just here at Platform 4? Yes, we were have an i3 with 8 gigabytes and you can run OBS pretty well. I, d I don't know what's causing this skipping then. Just hope I haven't lost too many viewers through it. Right. Stopping now. merry-go-round is, is a round loop oh okay I didn't realize it was so small I thought there was a bit off to the top and everything Drive via... Yeah, so we're doing the same again. How many times round are we going? Pick up passengers from there. Stop there. Drop them off. Stop there. Stop there. Go to the coal and water. Okay. Let's put some water in. What's my favourite preserved railway? Um, I think everybody in the chat knows what my favourite preserved railway is. It's the uh, Seven Valley. Bottom right in OBS, we should be able to find out, able to see your CPU usage. Uh, 21%. It's 53 frames per second, uh, kilobytes per second, 3,268. No dropped frames. is the Welsh Highland Railway. Um, I don't know which one that is. I should, because I've probably been on it. Not the former dog wells. I don't know what the former dog wells is, I'm afraid for that. Right, let's get some more coal on. Ah, 
that one. I knew I'd been on it. See, we used to call that the Paul's Maddock Railway. From Kavana. She needs a lot more coal in that boiler. Doesn't matter because we'll be stopping soon. Um, possibly not, Scotsman, because of Matt. We shall see. If I do, I'll be route building anyway, and so um, it wouldn't be a surprise if nobody was on. I thought I was going to hit the back of that train then. All the stations Oakhampton is up. Ah oh, yes. I'll be catching that soon. Right, my OBS is now down to 5.5%. But it's still skipping. Don't know why it's still skipping. I might see if I can find something on the forums about it. Coming into Barnum. Ooh. I mean, I can't read that now. Someone's just gifted me something. Red Devil Dumb, thank you very much. West Highland Mainline South. Oh, baking too much. Um, unfortunately, alert, an alert doesn't come up for that, but good game. Right, I have no boiler pressure, so we have got no chance of accelerating very quickly. But that doesn't matter anyway. build up a little bit as we come into the, uh, to the platform here, especially if we put the blow on, that'll give us a short burst of pressure, which is what we want. We don't want long sustained pressure, we just want a short burst. Lovely, press T, open the doors. Uh, you wish you you could gift something, but Steam has a new gifting policy, which is very annoying. Uh, what's that new policy? Because I've not come across it. 
Thank you very much, Red Devil Dom. Right, shouldn't your train backwards into Barnum Carriages 1? Okay, that's enough in the coal. 9. Uh, center player, we're here. And we are going backwards to there. Uh, you got gifted something once while you were on Western Main Lines. 3 hours 30 minutes, the scenario lasts 2 hours and 40 minutes, and you got gifted and it crashed. Oh! That's why pressing F2 at stations is a good idea. We're almost done here anyway. I only save if, um, if I'm being called away to do something and it's a scenario that's worth finishing. Much as you'd love a drone, you know you'd crash it. Actually, I'd like a drone. Don't know if I'd crash it, but they're just too expensive for me. And what with all these new laws and restrictions that are coming out on them. Let's just let it roll back. I'm guessing by the fact that everything stopped moving that we're late, but I don't mind. Alright, let's just make sure that we don't hit the buffers at the end. Oh, we're miles away at the moment. What does that caravan board say? I'll tell you what, we'll go and have a look at it whilst we wait for this to end. Caravan board somewhere. I don't, e I don't even know where it is, I haven't seen it. But I'm guessing it's somewhere Uncouple your locomotive. Uncoupled. Drive to Barnum Platform 2. We will do in a minute. Um, caravan board. Basically, due to currency differences, if the price difference between two countries is more than a percent, you can no longer send a gift to someone who, who lives in a different country. Yes, this is really stupid. Oh. There was an ad board at the station. Oh, okay. Let's have a look at the station then. This one. Fly anywhere in Europe. Uh, guaranteed lowest fares online, it says. Or is it this one? Caravans, live life on the move. It's probably that one. We've also got this one down here, flower with self-raising agent. I don't know which agent that is, but he's obviously self-raising. Is it James Bond? Is it M, Q, 008? Right, we better get back to my train, which is moving. You seem to be buffering a lot. Um, we have transcoding. So you can move that 
down so then you're not buffering quite so much. Right, when we've been to platform two, what are we doing? Shed head shunt coal and water. Ah, yes. Right, have we finished clattering across all of those now? Right, that'll do. Now I don't see why we've come down here. We've come down because we're then going to come back to somewhere else. Where is the shed head chunk? There, so how... Drive to Barnum shed head chunk. How on earth are we going to get back there? We do just cross back. And then we're going to come up to Barnum Column Water. Oh, I see. So it's further back. He says, no, it's not. I'm lost. Because I thought, yeah, we are. We're coming into here. No? Stop at the head shunt and then into the coal and water which is there so we want to come to here I'm confused no I'm not okay yes because I was thinking we were coming into here but we're not Right. Um, let's follow again. Da -da -da. You really hope that you get fiber optic soon. I got fiber optic. It's really expensive though. I was about to give something to Matt, but came across that new gifting policy which Valve implemented a month ago. Um, is is that only does that apply to the currency when it's been changed? Over we go, let's break for the 20. It starts well before the sign. And let's break to stop. And we can put that into forwards ready as well. You've put the quality down to 440 so that you can watch, and you usually can watch perfectly fine at 440, at 480. Problem is 360 is unbearable to watch as well, so it's either endless buffering or unbearable visuals. Right, drive to Barnum Coal and Water. Yes, you think so. Ah, oh, okay. The other way that you could do it is, um, actually I don't know if you would be able to, to do it through steam in pounds, 
Um, it's a very good question. If not, you may be able to do it through Streamlabs. I don't know how that would happen. Right, let's stop at Barnum Coal and Water. Which is there anywhere, anytime. But it's not falling into the turntable. Well, we can turn that, can't we? No, that's locked. Fiber optic is not really, is actually not really any more expensive than it used to be, but new regulations sent that ISPs have to include line mental in the monthly price, which makes it look more expensive, but reality is pretty much the same. Well done driver, you have completed challenge 06. Yes. Just subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you very much, Luke. Uh, enjoy the stuff that's there. I've got a lot of work to do for that tomorrow because I'm I'm about to show my last my last train sim video. And there's the crash. That's the point at which you went. No, I've had enough. <laughs>